So for this class, we're going to do a yoga for the shoulders, upper back. Okay, so what you're gonna need is two yoga blocks and a towel. I'm just using kind of like a hand towel. You can also use um, a yoga strap if you have one. Some of you guys might not, so I'll just stick with the towel for today. So about this length, maybe you might need a little bit longer, so have a longer towel or blanket on hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a nice comfortable seat. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes and just slowly breathing in and out the nose. As we breathe, allow the ribs to expand out. Full deep inhales, full exhales. Let's take the right thumb to the right nostril. Index the middle finger between your eyebrows and inhale through the left side. Close with the ring finger and exhale through the right side. Inhale right side. Close and exhale left. Inhale left. Close of the ring finger, exhale right. Again, relax your shoulders, jaw, brow. Inhale right. Close of the thumb and exhale left. One more nice and deep inhale, left. Close the ring finger, exhale, right. Release the hand. And roll the shoulders up and back. Okay, so let's inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, clasp the hands, press the palms up. Take the hands behind your head, drop the shoulders down. Wrap the shoulder blades down the back and then slowly extend the left elbow over and lift the right elbow up. Maybe look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, right elbow goes over towards the back end of the mat. Lift the left elbow up. Inhale, center. Extend the arms up. Exhale, release. So I wanna get the shoulders a little bit warm first. So let's go ahead and take all fours position. A couple options here. So we're gonna lift, we're gonna drop the shoulder blades, drop the chest and wrap the shoulder blades together. And then we're gonna press down, round just a little bit, not a full cat cow. And then we're gonna press and lift between your shoulder blades so the shoulder blades spread apart. Drop the chest, wrap the shoulder blades together, and then press, lift. Down, lift. So they're shoulder blade push-ups, you could say. Press, chest towards the floor, chest away. Towards, away. Towards, away. Okay, just get the shoulders going. If you want to do this in full plank, you're more than welcome to. You're going to work more core muscles and more in the shoulders. Press. So today we're going to focus on stretching those shoulders out. Press, lift. We have five left. Press. Lift, press, lift. 
and I've lost count. So good. <laughs> Stretch it back, separate the knees. Child's pose, extend. So if you need to take a stretch, you can always come to child's pose at any time throughout the class. And coming up. Good, so here we're gonna do a little puppy um, pose. So you're gonna actually take it one arm at a time. Your right arm is gonna extend out. And then you're gonna drop your chest towards the floor. Keep your hips high. And then we're gonna switch. So just doing puppy pose one arm at a time. Press. And switch. Press the chest towards the floor. Chin towards the floor. If it's too uncomfortable for the neck, look straight down. And switch one more time. Press. Breathe. And coming up. Okay, let's do a couple cat cow regular ones. Roll the shoulder blades back. Pull the chest through the arms. Exhale. Tuck the toes, round the back, lift between the shoulder blades. Push the floor down into your hand. And release the feet. Roll the shoulder blades back. Pull the chest through the arm bones. Collar bones wide. And exhale. Tuck. Lift between the shoulder blades, press the pelvis forward, nose back. Good, and then this time come into downward dog. Pedal it out, move the hips a little bit, lengthen your spine. Breathe. Push into your thumbs and index knuckles of your hands. Good, then coming forward to plank. Shift forward, drop the knees if you like, elbows to ribs, chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog, roll the shoulder blades back, try to pull the chest through. And exhale, downward dog. Press the heels back, maybe you cycle it a little side to side if that feels good. And then inhale, plank. Shift forward, drop the knees if you'd like, chaturanga. Or you can just hold the down dog again. And lift, press it back. Breathe. Push into the thumbs, the index knuckles. One more time, plank, for now at least. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the legs, shift forward, drop the knees if you'd like, elbows in, fingertips press. Roll it through, lift. And downward dog. Looking forward, slowly walk the feet to the top or hop. Inhale, flat back lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, push into your feet, reach. Exhale. Go ahead and grab your strap or your towel, blanket, whatever you've got. Just roll it up so you can handle it nicely. So you're gonna take your hands, it's, it's pretty wide, wider than the shoulders. And it may be wider depending on you. So inhale, lift it up. And then exhale, you're gonna take your arms over to the left and then take your arms back behind your head. Let me turn to the front. So my arms stay straight and I'm pulling my left arm back but I'm not letting my top arm bend. Okay, breathe. So I'm taking, keeping my top arm straight up. My left arm is swinging back a little bit and down. I'm taking it up center. Rooting that left arm at the top, and then bring the right arm back a bit. So again, like I said, you might need a longer towel or blanket or scarf would be great. Something strong. And inhale center. Exhale, now we're gonna take those elbows back, the towel back, wrap the shoulder blades back, and I'm not letting my butt stick out and my ribs stick out. I'm pulling them in, even though maybe you can't tell so well. <laughs> Pulling it back. So now I'm really stretching. I feel it in the front of my shoulders. <sighs> Elbows are back. The towel is not on my head. Breathe. <sighs> and then just do a little pulse back. Pulse back. Breathe. Shoulder blades are wrapping together. I'm trying to relax my neck and my jaw. 
tucking my pelvis, rooting my feet into the floor, pulling it back. And if you're not feeling it, you bring your hands closer together and it makes it harder. Good, inhale up, exhale, release. Okay, release the towel for right now. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back lift. Exhale, come to plank. Shift forward, drop the knees if you'd like. Chaturanga, or take it downward dog. Wrap the shoulder blades back, lift the chest through the arms. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, bend the knee. Let's just open it up here. Keep the arms straight, thumbs heavy. Exhale, take your right foot forward, back knee down. Come on to a lunge. Double roll the mat for your back knee if you need to. Inhale, take it up. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Reach. Good, exhale, take your right hand towards the floor, left hand goes up, stretch and reach. Keep pressing the pelvis forward without sinking in your low back. Push into the top of that back foot, lengthen up through your left hand and your right hand down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, straighten the leg, flex the foot, just fold, take a breath, roll that right hip back. We won't be here long. Try to straighten that right leg, lift the right kneecap. Good, bend the knee, straighten your back leg, take your front leg back, plank, chaturanga, drop the knees if you'd like, cobra or upward dog, downward dog. Left leg up, bend the knee and open the hip, push into your thumbs. Exhale, left foot steps forward, back knee down, check the front knee, stays right above the ankle, not beyond. Tuck the pelvis, pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Push into the top of that back foot. Breathe. Good. Left hand goes down. Right arm goes up. We stretch up, tucking the pelvis. Don't sink in the low back. Okay. Ooh. Tuck the pelvis. Pull the ribs back. As you reach up, you reach down and you drop into the hips a bit. Push into the top of that back foot. Breathe, root into your left heel. Lengthen, breathe in a stretch. Good, and then from here, you're gonna straighten that leg. Turn your toes back. Lengthen the chest, lift the left kneecap. Lengthen, your, pull up the belly. Pull the right hip forward, left hip pulls back. Breathe. Good, bend the front knee. Turn your back toes under, lift the back knee. Step your front leg back. Shift forward, chaturanga. Pull it through, lift your heart. Downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take your right foot forward, back knee down. This time grab your strap. Towel, scarf, whatever you've got. <sighs> Using padding underneath the bottom knee if you need to. L lengthen your left elbow up and then bend. So I'm gonna flip my grip on the bottom of my towel and I'm gonna pull that towel down and lift my left elbow up. So the goal here is trying to bring that left arm more and more behind the head without letting the head drop. Okay, breathe, lift that left elbow up and lengthen. As you do so, you can just stay right on top of that left knee or bend a little bit. Just check the front knee doesn't go beyond the ankle. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Inner thighs working towards each other as we always talk about in these low lunges. Tuck the pelvis forward so you elongate the low back. Reach that right hand down. Lift the left elbow up, breathe. Good. Straighten the leg. Flex the foot, and then we're gonna lengthen forward. As you lengthen forward though, it's really easy to just do this. Just around the back. I want you to lift your chin and extend. Stick your butt out behind you. 
So your back muscles are also working. Turn your right toes back, your right kneecap lifts. Breathe, pulling the arm behind the head, lift the head. Inhale, release. Take your front leg back, go through a chaturanga or take a downward dog. Lift and press it back. Left leg, bend and open. Left foot steps forward, back knee down. Grab your towel. Now even if you can take the hands and grab behind, I don't want you to do that. I want you to use the towel or the strap for now. Lift that right elbow and then I'm gonna flip the grip on that left hand so I can pull it down. And my right arm is a little more flexible than my left in this position. So I'm gonna tuck the pelvis, pull my right hip forward, my left hip back, and if you are more flexible, then you grab a little higher on that towel and you pull the arm and you straighten it down. The bottom arm as straight as possible. Pull the right hip forward, left hip back, tuck the pelvis, pull the ribs back a bit so you don't overarch into your lumbar. Press into the top of that back foot. Lift that right elbow, breathe into your right shoulder. Keep the legs strong, right hip forward, left hip back. Root into the top of the back foot and the front heel. Lift the right arm, extend it up, breathe. These overhead um, stretches with the arms is gonna also help you with full wheel, full bridge, and lots of back bends. Good, go ahead, keep that arm up there, flex the foot, turn your left hip back, lengthen. Don't let it drop, don't let the elbow drop. Keep that elbow lifted. Lengthen, pull that towel back. Left hip goes back. Chest up. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Don't hold the breath and wait till we're done. The low back should be working, not rounding. Good, slowly release. Take that front leg back. Chaturanga or a downward dog is up to you. Inhale it up, lift the chest. Exhale, take it back. Lift and lengthen, press into the heels, take a breath. Here you should feel, even in your downward dog, if the shoulders are a little bit more open than the, than the previous, or from the start of class. Breathe into those shoulders. Good, and then coming back onto the knees, you're gonna take the mat, roll the front part back. Just a little extra padding there. Take your towel, strap or whatever you have. Good, now this time I want you to take it behind the back Get a nice grip around on it. Palms face up, wrap the shoulder blades back. Breathe, lift. Just extend. Good, and then we're gonna flip the grip, palms face you, and lift. Keep pressing the pelvis away from where your hands are going. Your hands are reaching back. Pelvis is reaching forward. Okay, so from here then we're gonna just take the, the towel or the strap up. Hands go wide again. And then as much as you can, you're gonna go back, keeping your arms straight. So this towel is a little short. Breathe. Breathe, and we're just gonna little pulse. Try not to bend your elbows. Keep it straight, little pulse back. Yeah, my shoulders are relatively tight, so breathe, I can be much further back. 
pulse, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna bend the right elbow, flip the grip, grab of the bottom hand, pull the towel down, lift the elbow up. So now I'm reaching my left hand towards my left heel. Then if I can, I'm gonna turn my toes under, take my hand to my heel with the towel, lift the elbow up and do a little bit of a camel with that right arm up. And if I'm a little more open, I can flatten the feet and do it. As I'm here, I want to try to parallel my chest towards the ceiling. Inhale, pull it up and switch. Left elbow goes up, right hand, I'm gonna flip the grip. Grab, lift that left elbow up and pull my right hand towards my right heel. Now you can stay here, just make sure you're not here. Okay, we wanna breathe. Lift, we're gonna wrap that elbow in towards the head so it's not winging out to the left. Keep it in, reach, breathe. And then I can just shorten my hand grip a little, I think, on this. And then take my hand to my heel. With that arm up, parallel the chest. Let the head drop back onto the hand. Breathe. Press the pelvis. And then slowly coming back up. Sitting down. We're gonna do one more round of that. So you should feel your shoulders, upper back, a little bit more open. Okay, let's go again. So you're gonna take that towel in the right hand, keep the right arm high. Flip the grip so my palm, my hand is reaching straight down towards my left heel. I'm lifting my right arm. And then I can stay here or turn the toes, maybe shorten my hand grip a little bit higher up. Lift and then take my hand to my heel. Keep the top arm up. Just take it a little bit longer, shorter. Hand to the heel, lift up, parallel the chest. Lean the head back into the hand. Breathe, press the pelvis forward. Slowly lift up through the right elbow and switch sides. One more side. Bend, grab, lift. Maybe you grab a little bit higher than you did previously. Then take the hand to the heel. Parallel the chest, let the head drop back. I'm gonna grab a little bit up. <sighs> Breathe, press the hips forward, let the head drop into the head, uh, put the head weight into the hand. Press the pelvis forward, engage the glutes. Breathe, lift, open the chest. And then slowly lift up through the left elbow and release. From here, I want you to separate the feet. You can sit on a block underneath your glutes if you'd like. Tuck the pelvis and just lengthen the spine. Breathe. Stay here or slowly lean it back. Tuck the pelvis so your glutes are not touching the floor or the block if the block is underneath you. Tuck the pelvis, lift the glutes up. Coming maybe onto the forearms. Maybe not. Pressing the tops of the feet. You can lay all the way flat that help if that's open for you or you can take the top of the head to the floor for kind of a fish variation. Press the pelvis up. And slowly make your way back up. Undo the legs. The mat. Keep your towel close. 
We're going to come into fish now. I'm going to use the blocks. I'm going to use actually two blocks because we're going to be here a little bit and I want you to do a little bit of arms with it. So I'm going to take one block underneath my upper back and one block underneath my head. Whatever you do is up to you, okay? You can take this block flat and do it lower if it's too high, like this, okay? Keep your strap or your towel close. I'm going to take this one under my head. Okay, I'm going to grab my towel. Actually, I'm going to take this down one, one step. Okay, now I'm going to grab my towel and I'm going to reach it over. And in this position, I've got my towel. I'm going to try to keep my arms straight. And I want to try to keep my hands only shoulders width apart. If the towel part is too much, you just release the towel and do the normal fish. And then I want you to walk your hands next to each other. Try to straighten your arms. Breathe. Good, and then I want you to take the towel in the right hand, or take your hands shoulders width again, and then extend one at a time, bend one elbow, and extend the arm over. Breathe. Good, and then just straighten both arms Reach overhead. Breathe, really try to let go of your upper back. And then slowly release. Roll to one side. And you're gonna take the blocks out of the way. And we've got one more stretch for these shoulders before we finish off. Okay, so I'm going to take two of my blocks up and we're going to go back to that kind of puppy pose that we did earlier. Okay, so you can use two, you can use one. I'll show both variations. So I'm going to take my hand, my right hand on top of the block. I'm going to scooch my knees back, 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 back. And then I'm going to let my chest drop down. And I can either let my forehead rest on the floor or draw my chin towards the floor. Here I'm not leaning to one side, I'm going straight back. So make sure this hand is in line with the shoulder. Dropping the chest towards the floor, my hips are high. Now if you want more, you stack it up. Just make sure the blocks are secure. If you want less, you take one block. Okay, it's up to you. We're going to breathe here five more breaths. We won't be here that long. Letting the chest or chin draw down towards the floor. Try to externally rotate that shoulder so don't let that arm shrink into the shoulder and towards your ear. Draw it away from the ear. Good, and switch. And just slightly move it over. Breathe into it. And just notice one side might be a little more flexible than the other, okay? So if you need to get rid of a block for the one side, not the other one, just be mindful of that and really try to work on evening it out a little. Or notice why the one side is always like much 
is always tighter than the other one. Okay. And if it's extreme difference, then it's definitely something to work on. Trying to get that range of motion to be semi-equal. Draw the shoulder away from the ear, so don't let the shoulder creep up towards your left ear. Breathe. And again, take a block away, stack it higher, whatever you need to do for your shoulders, that you can allow the chest to drop. If you're holding up here and you can't go any further, that means you need to get rid of a block or some height in, under your hand. Okay, you want to allow the chest to draw down a bit. Breathe. Relax the shoulder from the ear. A few more breaths. Good. Now, last one here. We're going to take these two blocks next to each other. A couple options for the heights again. So I'm going to do mine about middle height. I'm going to take my elbows, really the tricep, the lower part of the back of the arm, onto the blocks. I'm going to tuck my head in. I'll let my chest drop down. And any variation with your hands. You can take them to the top, you can take them together and just let the chest drop. Make sure your elbows are not too wide and that they're only max shoulders width apart. Okay, and if this is too high or too much, oops, you're just going to take it down. And then press it down and lengthen your head through. Make sure those elbows aren't too far apart. Maybe nose to the floor. Or you want more. Make sure the blocks are sturdy enough. And you're going to take the head through. Let the head drop down. Breathe a couple more breaths. I'm just going to go middle of the road again here. Take two more breaths there. And then slowly come up. Take the blocks to the side. Come in to sit. So keep your towel close. I'm going to do one last thing here and then finish it off in Shavasana. So you're going to take your right arm up, bend the elbow, pull it back. Okay, or left hand is going to come up the back and grab the right fingertips. If you need to, you're going to take your towel. If you can't bind. And then you're going to walk those hands together. I like to lift my right hand up and lift the left hand up my back and then walk my right hand down. Okay, that's an option for you. Okay, so either you have the bind with the fingertips together, clasped, or you're here. Wherever you are, your elbow is not out here. Your elbow is by your ear. Lift the chest. Breathe. And go ahead and release. Switch sides. So again, you can take the left arm up, bend the elbow lift and then take the right hand work it up the back clasp the hands stay there and breathe lift the chin don't let the left elbow wing out or you can grab the towel strap whatever you have I like to walk lift my left hand up to walk my right arm high and then walk my left hand down the back lift the chest breathe so you have a bit of an internal rotation in that bottom shoulder. Breathe and lift.
couple more breaths. And then go ahead and release. Rotate those shoulders. Shake it out. Come on, lay on your back. Take a happy baby. Rock a little side to side. Release the legs and lay back into Shavasana. Lift the chest. Breathe. Let the body just relax back in Shavasana. And I'm going to guide you through. So let's take a nice deep inhale from the bottom of the stomach all the way up to the very top of the ribs. And exhale, slowly let that breath go. Again, inhale from the bottom of the stomach all the way up to the top. And exhale, slowly let it go. One more time, inhale from the bottom. All the way up to the very top and hold it in. Inhale, sip up more air and hold. Again, inhale, sip up more air, hold. One more time, fill it up. And exhale, slowly let it go. Let go of your breath, relax the stomach, release your hips, legs, ankles, feet and toes. Allow your shoulders to be heavy into the mat so your heart can lift and be open. And allow any stress or tension to roll down the arms and release from your fingertips. Let go of your jaw, brow, scalp, ears, forehead, throat, Just allow the mind to be calm and clear. Acknowledge your thoughts and then let them go. And as you do so, allow the body to melt back into the floor, letting go and just be. And slowly start to deepen your breath, wiggle your toes and your fingers, and bring the legs together. Extend the arms long overhead and just get a nice stretch. Bend the knees, roll to the right, take a breath. When you're ready, finding a nice comfortable seat. And sitting up nice and tall. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart. And thanks for sharing your practice and your energy with me. Namaste.